Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Go Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Today, I'm going to be reacting to a reaction video. Christian cause Muslim Adan is satanic reaction video. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Place here in Egypt. Hopefully we can utilize this space. When I see that, I just see it like a typical white family, and it's a, it's just it's, I don't I would never ever think about what's about what they're about to say. Never. He says Hear it of the devil he basically made his throne here the, the how powerful Adhan is mm. that the very enemies who are hostile towards Islam are mm. crumbling on rooftops wow yeah I like that yeah <laughs> check out our sponsors Nature's Blends they specialize in premium Ethiopian black seed products the website is in the description link below you can also use the discount code SALAM10 for 10% of their products Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends hope you guys are well inshallah Welcome back to another reaction video. Uh, this is something I saw on Five Pillars um, and I was a bit taken back by it because the way the video starts, um, it's, it's, it's like your happy-go-lucky Caucasian family, you know, and it turns a bit bitter towards the end. So I'm going to get straight into the video. So this is a missionary couple moving to Egypt with their kids and here's their introduction to the country, to the religion, to yeah, and basically everything that they're about. Hi friends and family, it's the Burrykins over here, Angela Mark and Lucas Josiah and Liana. And we just thought we would do a quick little tour of our new place here in Egypt. Hopefully we can utilize this space. When I see that, I just see it like a typical white family. And it's, a, it's just, it's, I don't, I would never ever think about what's about what they're about to say. Never, because the way they start is just, Hi, we moved into a new house, you know, check our, you know, our living room, you know, our view up here. Bro, look how we, look what happens. With something, maybe make a prayer, make it, make it a rooftop prayer, worship. Who knows? We'll see what God leads us to. And what you hear right now. So when he's talking about God, Yanni, Yanni, you can say he's a man of God, even though if we say we, dis we differ in the uh, beliefs, but you can say he's a man of God and... But let's see what happens with this a man of God. It's the Muslim prayer. It's about noon time right now. I was expecting for him to cry, by the way. <laughs> and I'm starting to hear it. So we pray against it, obviously, because it is. We pray against it. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oppressing for a lot of Christians here, but we just stand against it against this propaganda and against the false religion and against this you know the spirit it gets worse but let's just add up on that yeah so he's saying this propaganda we pray against this uh, and the oppression of the christians you're egyptian right mm -hmm. when he's talking about christians are being oppressed yeah there's an adhan going off I don't know how you can relate no, he, that. He was saying that that was oppressive. Okay, okay. He was saying that's oppressive. <laughs> and he was saying that's propaganda. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So now, you're, you're from Egypt, yeah? If I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken, there are Coptic Christians. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many? So, according to census data, it's 10% of the population. Now, I reckon the Egyptian population is probably over 100 million, probably 110 million. Okay. Even though the census data is probably less than that. Mm. Or the data that they have, the government data is less than that. But it's probably about 110, maybe going on to 120 million. Okay. So, if we if we assume that that's 10% of that, it's probably about 20, 12 million. So, say 12, okay. 13 million Copts. Okay. 11 million. Okay. Okay. So, now, as far as I know, one of the oldest churches are in Egypt. Well, no, the the the, the, the Oriental um, Orthodox Church, mm. which is the Coptic kind of church, mm. is one of the oldest uh, churches. Okay. And it's and look, uh, when Islam spread to Egypt, yeah. okay, with uh, Amr ibn Al As, yeah. uh, when it spread to Egypt, the biggest indication that what these people say that Islam spread by the sword and it forced people to convert by the at the point of the sword. Mm. The, the, no, the biggest um, living testimony to the contrary is the continued existence of the Egyptian Coptic people up until 2021 when we're doing this video. In other words, if it was true that these people were forced to convert, why is there such a healthy minority of Egyptian Copts that, that still exist in Egypt? 
this day. And that they weren't forced to become Muslim. Till this day. And their places of worship are still intact. No and, doubt about and, that. And, if you go to Egypt, if you go to yeah. Cairo, there's a place called Shubra, yeah. which basically is, for all intents and purposes, a mm. Coptic area. Mm. And all of the, not only, to be honest, not only are they there, mm. but they are protected. They are very much protected. You know, exactly. and there's special protection. So mm. the assumption of uh, oppression, I mean, I'm not saying that they weren't, uh, they weren't like any minority group. There haven't been oppression in history. Muslims, yeah, no, Jews, of course, Christians. of course. But the the fact of the matter is, I mean, he's saying that the Adhan is oppressive. So this yeah, is, and they've been oppressed. A, and you know what's very ironic is this: this is a missionary couple, which they're hostile. They're choosing to move to this country. Yeah, well, if you find it so like uh, he's talking about the <laughs> devil or something, why are you going to live in the house of the devil? Exactly. Well, let's get there. Look, let's yeah. see what he says. Here it of the devil he basically made his throne here and he makes it known like three times a day that he is here so he says three times a day actually it's five times and that's a very basic fact of islam <laughs> yeah which shows you the ignorance of this guy like mm. if you don't even know he's a stab at the Qalim. <laughs> if you don't even know that <laughs> muslims pray five times a day and you're mm. meant to be locating into a muslim country for missionary purposes mm. So if you are locating, to, it's like it's like going to uh, if I, if we're doing dawah to go into locating to a Christian country <laughs> yeah. for missionary purpose for missionary purposes, mm. and we don't even know that what the Trinity constitutes. Exactly, it's like uh, the most basic belief about Islam. Yeah. How many times do Muslims pray, and therefore how many mm. times mm. should you hear the adhan a day? Mm. Is five. Any child in any RE classroom will tell you that. So this guy, I think, is by, by the way, by, by the look of his facial expression, yeah. I think really what's going on here, bro. Yeah. Is this guy is actually threatened? He's threatened yeah, by yeah, it, yeah, yeah. and I think he's listening to it and thinking, "Is this the truth?" Mm. And he's shocked by it, and he is threatened. He's clearly mm -hmm. threatened by it mm. because this, this facial expression here for me, yeah. and I'm not trying to psychoanalyze the guy. No, but it's true. He's but it's, it's one of it's like contrivance. It's mm. not a genuine, authentic expression. It's like he's putting it on. It's a fake, mm. and he's doing it because he, him and his wife are there, and they maybe feel a bit threatened about this adhan because they're thinking. Mm. Well, th these people take their religion very seriously. We only do this once every week. Mm. They do it five times a day. And, and, and it is very threatening because a lot of people, even non-Muslims, they will say, you know what? One thing we give to the Muslims, they are damn consistent and they practice their faith. And now with the downfall of Christianity in the West, and we're looking at some stats where, you know, they are losing like 66 million. Uh, there's some figures that I don't know the exact figures. I'll tell you the so, figures. You know the figures? I know the figures, bro. Hijab. I do know the figures. <laughs> like, you know, the, the, the 2001 mm. census data yeah. in the UK. Yes. Uh, said, I believe it was, uh, uh, I believe it was, see now, now you're women as well. Okay, okay. No, no, no. So the 2001, yeah. from 2001 to 2011, yeah. there was a 22% 20, 20, depreciation. Okay. So, wow. so I think it was 70 something and then it became 50 like percent. Oof. According to British attitude surveys, which are probably like the gold standard yeah. uh, in terms of anticipating census data, because the census data is, is, is mm. strong. Yeah. Mm. We've got census, by the way, in 2021, yeah. this year. Yeah. What's anticipated is that it's going to be below 50%, so 45% Christians in this country. I'm thinking to myself, bro, you know the English language. They know the English language. Yeah. If you're afraid to see the downfall of Christianity, why are you going to Egypt? Go to England, bro. No, no, well, that's the thing. Oh, stay, stay in America. Well, I think that's where the missionary uh, aim is now. Stay Afri Africa. Imagine, bro, there's, there's never been mm. a 22% depreciation. That's mad. Like that, do you know what like, we're talking about? Millions of people in a span of ten years that decided to become irreligious and, and, in and, England. And, and well, it explains. And it's happening in the US as well. well so those, why don't you go there? Well, and those, do your preaching there. Well, those figures explain his facial expression. I mean, if I heard those figures as a religious man like him, I would have the same figure. And especially with someone that's supposed to be a godly man, for him to come out there, go to a Muslim country in a hostile manner. Instead of doing a bloody, uh, I thought he was going to do uh, like MTV Cribs, you know, this is my crib, come in there and, it's, disrespectful, and it's, it's, it's disgusting. If you look at the comment section, he's actually, that's what Allah says in the Quran about the Christian people of the book are not the same because there's people in there, Christians are actually refuting him and saying, you're supposed to be a godly man. You're there, your son is there and you're here talking about uh, the say, Satan has uh, established throne here. I mean, let's, let's get this right for a second. What are you talking about here? There's been thousands of prophets that have been sent and even in your, biblically, yeah, all of them have, confessed one thing worship god alone mm. yeah worship god alone can you imagine the consistency and they come and say oh your prophet came and changed things hold on a second you've had hundreds of prophets or let's say whatever all of them came with a consistent message god is worship god alone worship god alone don't associate partners mm. and then comes along <clears throat> paul or somebody else changes the whole diction flips it on his head 
And you're coming and telling us that Prophet Muhammad came to change the uh, the, the the whole thing. The, the, he didn't. The Prophet peace be upon him came to be consistent and to turn you guys back to the actual narrative Religion original. Abraham. Yes, and you're here talking about Satan. The biggest thing that Satan wants to do and achieve is for you to worship other than God. And as a Christian man, you claim to be against idol worship or whatever it may be, and you're here deifying Jesus. You know, <laughs> and you're here. You dare to come a monotheistic religion who is calling to the oneness of God and Satan is established throne and look how uncomfortable you are let's just bro, finish the video so one more thing as well bro yeah. like this has so much colonial implications yes like we've in Egypt there's been so many European countries that have come in and tried to stick their hands in yeah. business we've had the Napoleonic Wars and we, we see with Napoleon in, in the late 1700s mm. yeah. when they went into Egypt bro you see the Orientalist stuff and Edward Said actually documents this in his book Orientalism they try to change the culture yes. they try and educate people do their own propaganda bro like at the end of the day and then the obviously the British come into Egypt as well and stay there for a very long time, mm. you know. So we're, we're talking. This is just an extension of that. You you have this attitude of snobbery and coming yeah, yeah, yeah. over and you think <laughs> you're, you're, you're like you think you've got something that we don't we need. Well, well, like, bro, well, like with all due respect, the Quran actually deals with Christianity, and by virtue of historical necessity, mm. the Bible cannot deal with the Quran. Mm. So all these Muslim people that you think you're going to go, go and convert, they've heard it all before. Yeah. I'm sorry. They've, they've, yeah. by necessity, they have heard yeah. all of your arguments, yeah. and the Quran refutes everything yeah. that you're going to bring. So, tr good luck in Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Egypt is is one of the hardest places to try and get converts. Exactly, especially if the Adam bothers you. No, Can you imagine coming across some Muslims? Oh. That's something we got to face against. So, thanks for coming along on my little tour i hope it kind of gave you a little glimpse of damn gave a glimpse of your bloody not forget your life in june it gave a glimpse of what you guys really are and this is very appalling and i think it shows and i think a lot of christians watching this are going to be very disturbed by this video to see that fellow godly people are there preaching nothing but hate and these are the same people who repeat the cycle of jesus's love it, it, it's, it's unbelievable you know and he's there like like you said you know he thinks it's he's snobbery yeah, it's not like you know yeah i've come who the hell do you think you are bro, like i said bro it, i i really do think <laughs> i think they're friend and do you know why do you know what's the best evidence of that do you remember that bbc report when she went you know what let's play it let's play you it. It, yeah. it yeah. right you remember who i'm talking about yeah. you know the saudi arabia no, one exactly yeah, yeah. and she heard the adhan and bro it has like an effect on you and so she started crying or watch something this like that. watch this people closing oh, their this. shops and everybody's going to pray oh just magical <laughs> It's such an incredible sight and sound that I find myself completely overcome. No, look, she's a very genuine and authentic person, and and, and she and, and she has a very natural response to it, but and you, and it's threatening, bro. For someone who wants to prop propagate something which is other than Islam, when you feel that, bro, it's like, wow, this thing is real. It's not course. just it's not just a theoretical thing. Spiritually, you feel like hit by it. Of course, and the thing is, I think this other guy, I think we'll end on this beautiful note, like seeing this lady there, and she's crying. It just shows you when a person's soul is pure and the fitrah is still open yeah. and is not clouded with this evilness, this 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 arrogant behavior. That's fitrah, just for them. Yeah, the fit, like fitrah is like the innate disposition yeah, mm. that you have God as creators mm. with. Yeah? If that is not polluted, you can see that when this the adhan, look how many YouTubers, non-Muslims do adhan, where they genuinely cry. Because the Adhan is not it's something like that guy recently, what's his name? Neil, yeah. what's his name? Yeah, yeah, he's active from Taken. He even said it himself. He's like, yeah. maybe Islam is the answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, can it's you, threatening, can, bro. Can, trust me. Can, yes, can you imagine? Yeah. And the thing is, it's when you hear that, bro, come on, anybody that hears Adhan, even if you are not a Muslim, you say, that is heartwarming. The yeah. least, least you can say is, that is heartwarming. You would never say Satan. So I think what it shows is that maybe he's got Satan inside him. He's maybe possessing <laughs> his Rukia. And not, it can and by be the way, actually, possible. actually, uh, the Adhan. And, by, and he's it, projecting it. Bro, you know, the Adhan is one of the things if you say and someone is possessed, yeah, it, it frightens shaitan. Because there's, there's there a hadith go. about saying the uh, Adhan and yeah. then the, the devil scurries yeah, away. Yeah, well, like, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it explains it all. He needs Rukia, yeah? Okay, uh, and I think that, uh, brothers and sisters, let's end on a positive note, inshallah. We started yeah. with uh, negativity, but with this beautiful Adhan and this uh, lady crying, subhanAllah, it shows you the beauty of Islam and Absolutely, how threatened bro. people are by... Um, I'm not even going to say mere Adhan because Adhan is powerful. Mm. The the how powerful Adhan is mm. that the very enemies who are hostile towards Islam are mm. crumbling on rooftops. Wow, yeah, I like that, yeah. <laughs> Till next time. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> well, I'm going to like that. Care to. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> crumbling on rooftops. <laughs> it's hilarious, bro. When did you come up with that? Were you thinking of that when you were praying or something? No. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs>
very interesting video um, i'm trying to think of what to say because sometimes yes we're scared of the unknown and it's really important to actually go out there and look into something we have we are afraid everyone is afraid of how tomorrow is going to turn out because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow everyone everyone is afraid of what tomorrow may bring but then to sit down and say for example islam is demonic or Christ, uh, christianity is demonic or the jewish religion is demonic or the hindus are that is wrong what happened to god is the only judge in this world why do we sit down and say maybe to our friends or doing these videos and say but you are wrong but you are wrong i am right you are not right they are right the rest are not right who are we to sit down and actually say such things our role in this world when it comes to such things is to preach what we believe in if you think this is the right way then communicate it in a way that you want someone to actually understand you because i find it and i think many people find it insulting when you sit down and start saying but this is um a ritual but this is this this is this and you never get a good response from that um when it comes to the azan i think i mean many people think different things about it but imagine you belong to this religion where you're reminding your friends or your family that um it's time to pray put down whatever you're doing maybe dedicate five minutes 15 minutes just to say a prayer in what you believe in it's them that believe in something how should that affect you they want to go pray they want to speak to their god what's wrong with that other people use other means okay i'm going to pray once a day maybe a friend is going to call them and say you know what this is the time we're supposed to pray and they drop whatever they're living to pray it's not like the son said says something out of this world for someone to term it as what it was termed and it's really really sad that the were the ones giving judgment were the ones saying that this is wrong our focus should be on preaching what we believe in without being um threatened by something we're not aware of or something we've never experienced otherwise let me know what you guys actually think we need to be um what can i say the balance in this world don't lean too much on one thing and ignore the other thing not knowing what the other thing even what it stands for i hope i'm making sense make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video